256 turn coil with a cross section a cross sectional area of 0 0.0025 square meter so first we have the number of turns of the coil which is 256 turns and the cross sectional area is given as 0 0.25 squared meters is placed in a uniform external magnetic field again uniform means that the magnitude or the strength of the field is constant and its direction does not change the field has a strength of 0 0.25 tesla so that the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the field so if this is the plane of the coil the field is perpendicular to the coil and if we draw the normal line to the coil, we'll find that it's also perpendicular to the coil. Then the field and the normal line are parallel, so the angle between them is 0 degrees. The coil is pulled steadily out of the field. Okay, so if the coil is pulled out of the field, when it's out of the field, then there will be no effect for the magnetic field on the coil. So this is the initial magnetic field and the final magnetic field will be equal to zero Tesla because the coil will be out of the field in 0 0.75 seconds so the time duration for this to happen is 0 0.75 seconds find the average induced electromotive force in this interval we have to find the induced electromotive force We know that the formula for EMF is equal to minus N delta, the change in magnetic flux over time. So it's equal to minus N delta. The magnetic flux is B A cosine theta over delta T. We take the constant factors out, minus n, a, cosine, theta, delta b, over delta t. Let's find delta b. It's equal to b final minus b initial. So it's equal to 0, the final magnetic field, minus 0 0.25. This gives negative 0 0.25. Tesla. We replace the number of turns is 256, area 0 0.0025, uh, cosine 0. Now delta B is negative 0 0.25 over delta T, which is 0 0.75. The answer for the induced electromotive force. 